Hi everyone. Hey, I was just thinking about something. I'm driving. I pulled over. I wanted to record this for you. I was doing some research for um, Body Image Awareness Month for February and also on burnout for a session I did yesterday. <laughs> Do you want me to leave that? I'm going to keep going because I dropped my phone like an idiot. Um, this is me, y'all. Burnout poster child is what I keep telling everybody. And so long story short, I found this resource. Um, I ordered these books from Nicole Ayers. And it's something like Love Letters to My Body. I'll post the link so you have it and you can read more about it. And there was a podcast she did. And a friend of mine, Micah, actually from Charlotte, did the illustrations for these books. And it's really cool. So long story short, again, um, she talked, she's in this podcast with this medical doctor, this surgeon. And they're talking about how the surgeon doesn't get water during the day because she can't, she doesn't want to scrub out and go pee. And I was listening to this. I'm like, oh my gosh. I can relate to this. Hold on a minute. So basically, she avoids drinking water. So she doesn't have to scrub out. She doesn't have to leave the operating room. She doesn't have to, you know, everything else comes before her and she winds up getting dehydrated. So then Nicole, the author of the book, starts talking about how she always has to wash the dishes or do her things, everything else that she has to do for everybody else. And then she finds time to pee. So I shared this with Jeff and Emma last night, and Emma goes, oh my God, Mom, that's you. She goes, I don't understand. You come home with groceries after driving. You know, it's a half hour, 45 minutes each way to get groceries. I have a little bit of water, but when I get home, I want to pee so bad. And instead, I put the groceries away, and I give the dog water, or I let the dog out because the dog they forgot to let the dog out, and the dog has to pee. Or yeah, it, it, Emma goes, Mom, it's groceries. They can sit there for 30 seconds. I mean, you don't take that long. Just go pee. But it's true, like every night I have to do the dishes before I go to the bathroom. Every day I let the dog out and take him for a walk before I even think about going pee. And I know this is personal, I know it's crazy, but you know what? The thing about burnout is it creeps in and it takes over because we don't do self-care. And when we don't do self-care, when we don't do the things that matter for our bio needs, for our emotional, spiritual, physical wellness needs, this is the stuff we keep compromising on and we keep cutting corners and we keep putting everything else before our own needs. It seems like something small. But you know what? If we're going to get out of this, we got to do the small things and we got to master them. So I committed last night that I'm going to pee before anybody else gets what they need. Unless it's blood, urgent death stuff, I'm going to go pee. Seriously. Like, I'm going to drink water and not worry about it. I'm going to have my tea and not worry about it. And I know, once again, this is way personal, but I'm going to start small and I commit to this. And it may be something you're experiencing. Maybe you're putting something else that's really important to you, to your needs, before everybody else's. I don't know. I just, it blew in my mind as I think about it this morning now that I've had some sleep. How much I've compromised my own needs. I fed my parents before I fed myself. I made sure they got their vitamins, their medicines. I treated them for whatever I had to do. Their wounds, their care, their mental, their physical. I did all of that before I even looked at my own body. Before I treated even broken ribs that I had. A broken toe I remember having. It didn't matter. Something was wrong with me. It didn't matter. So right now, in this moment, I ask you, commit to something small. Because momentum is everything. And the only way to get out of this bullshit burnout is to do something small to do something that is important to you. And you know what? I got up at the crack of dawn because I was pretty rested. And I have a million things to do before my last day at work tomorrow. And I said, screw it. And I'm sorry, Jen and all my my colleagues. And, and I promise you, I, you know me. I'll get what I have to done. But I went for coffee. I went for donuts. Can you see all this? And I went for bagels. And I even got my favorite creamer. And I did something for me. And that's what I needed. And I watched the sunrise. So here I am sitting in Lowe's parking lot. I wanted to share with you. So no more pee-pee dance, y'all. Have a great day. I'll share a little more uh, appropriate wisdom at another time. Take care.